So Canva is set to announce some brand new AI tools for all users very soon at its Canva Magic event. What are those tools? We don't know them all, but I do know three and I'm gonna share them with you in this video. But before I do, if you like this content, feel free to subscribe to EdTech Hustle where I'll be uploading new videos each week. So here are three new AI tools which will be released soon by Canva. I'm going to give you a rundown of all three. Let's start first with Magic Grab. So I'm going to select on our photo. I'm going to choose edit and I will select Magic Grab. From here, look, Magic Grab was already able to identify the person. And look at that, I can move him off of the photo and kind of move him just to the side like that. You'll notice where he previously was over here. Canva did try to kind of fill in that spot with a background. It's kind of like the Magic Erase tool where it's going to try to blend the background in the space of the subject that you remove. Okay, so now that I have my subject removed, I could maybe move him over to the right like this, maybe extend the background, kind of like that. I have my subject right over here, and if I wanted to, I could maybe put an image or put some text to the left where I previously couldn't because I had the teacher, the subject in the middle. Another thing that I might wanna do, which I think will look cool, is if this is a presentation or if this is a video, sometimes you'll see an effect where the subject kind of grows almost like the breathe feature inside of Canva, the breathe feature that you can use to animate something. So I can take this character, let me use that breathe feature, kind of maybe move him down a little bit, okay. Scale that big, there we go. So now you can kind of create an effect like that where the subject gets bigger in front of the background. This is something that would have been a little more challenging to do if we did not have this brand new Magic Grab feature. So let me show you another way that you can use Magic Grab. So I've got this next slide that has this vehicle, this Mercedes in the middle, but the car is a little bit too big. I wanna make the car just a little bit smaller. So let me try that again. I'm going to select my photo and I am going to choose Magic Grab. There you see that Canva was able to grab the main image and, and take a look at this. I can shrink that all the way down kind of like this, I can move the car over here. And now what I can do is go over to my elements. I can take this other car, kind of maybe put it sort of like this. <laughs> it doesn't quite look uh, the way that I want it to, but hopefully this will give you the idea of what you can do with Magic Grab. And again, it's one of those things where if you didn't know that I use Magic Grab to, to take this image and to move it around, you may not even know that this photo has been doctored again. This card doesn't quite make it look as realistic as I would want it, but hopefully this at least gives you an idea of what you can do with Magic Grab. So again, let's go ahead and take a look what you can do with Magic Grab. If I select Edit Photo and I choose Magic Grab, I can easily move the main subject in the photo down, move them around, make them bigger, make them smaller, however I want. Here it is again, these are my two photos. I'm going to take this one to the right. I'm going to use Magic Grab and I can just take that car, make it smaller or even completely remove it out of the photo on my own if I would like. Now let's take a look at our second AI tool. This one is called Magic Expand. So I've been playing around with a brand new tool inside Canva and that is called Magic Expand. What that will do is it will allow you to take a photo like this, which is a square, and using AI, you can expand this photo to fill the entire slide. So we can essentially convert this photo from a square into a rectangle. So it's kind of interesting. So what I'm going to do is select the photo. We're going to go to edit, and here is one of the new features. It's called Magic Expand. I'm going to select that, okay? And you can see that it starts out in this expand mode. There's this option, which is freeform, that allows you to just select how big you want that area to be filled. 
uh, with this with this new feature. The other one is this option. This is the whole page. So I'm just going to select that whole page and I'm going to select Magic Expand. And in a few moments, you should see Canva Magic doing its work. Okay, here we go. You can see to the left, there's four different results for this. Go ahead and take a look at this, you can see that Canva was able to kind of recreate the skyline that which is exactly what I was going for. Now, if you look kind of closely, you can see some some a little bit some images that are a little bit irregular that don't quite look right. But again, if this is just something that you're using in the background of a video or in the background of a slide, if you look quickly, if you glance at it fast, you won't really be able to tell. Here's another option looks a little bit different. A few others as well. So not bad. I kind of think I like this first option the best. I think it works really well with these type of images. Let's try this again. Here's another way that you can use this tool. This is an image of a teacher, but as you can see, his arm is kind of cut off. And if I wanted a little bit more of, of his body, underneath where this tie is. I have no way of really doing that. But you can use Magic Expand. And let's see what's going to happen. I'm just going to select Magic Expand again. I'm going to fill the whole page. And let's see what Canva Magic is able to create. So here are our results. You can see that Magic Expand was able to not only expand the background of this chalkboard, but it even recreated the bottom of our model right over here. You can see it, it finished up the sports coat. It tried to extend his tie, give him a, a nice matching pair of pants, as well as an elbow and shoulder, which wasn't there before. So again, if you look closely, you can kind of see the lines where Magic Expand kind of did its thing. But if you're looking at this closely, or if you're looking at this quickly, I should say, you won't be able to tell. Let's see a few other options. Here's a little bit of a different pair of pants. I think the tie might look better. Pants look a little bit wrinkled. There's a line uh, at the bottom right over here as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. <laughs> Not really too bad. It kind of looks like he's uh, bending his knee a little bit, posing for that photo. And this one, not really so good. But I do think that this looks pretty cool. Let me show you one final example. I have a photo here of a car and you can see it's almost a rectangular 16 by nine ratio. What happens if I wanna take this and maybe post it on Instagram? That's really that square one-to-one -one format. So I typically can't do this without sacrificing some of the, the, the space on the car. I'd have to cut that car out or leave a lot of space at the top or the bottom. Well, with Magic Expand, I can expand that to this one-to-one -one ratio right over here. Now when I select expand, go ahead and take a look at this option. I think this looks pretty good. Some other options as well. I think I like this first one the best. I'm just going to select done. Now when I kind of scale it down a little bit, I have an image that I can post on Instagram that's going to preserve the car in this one photo. So here's what my photo looked like before. Here is Magic Expand kind of doing its thing. So actually you know that there's a number of different ratios that you can use aside from one to one, that Canva will automatically resize by using this new feature, Magic Expand. And last, we'll take a look at our final tool. This is called Grab Text. So here's an example of a image that I found on the internet. Actually, I downloaded it from Canva, but I think this will work really good for demonstration purposes. I like this image and everything else about it, but I don't quite like this font or this message. I want to change that. So it's going to be a little hard for me to change that without having the ability to edit the text. And that's where our new AI tool comes in. It's called Grab Text, and as you can probably tell by the name, it will let you lift or edit any text off of any image. 
Canva will then do its best to try to match the font automatically using AI, which will then allow you to edit any of the text on the photo. So let me go ahead and select grab text. There we go. So you can see that I can now edit my text. You can kind of see if you look a little bit closely, you can see where the old lettering was. But if I kind of put this here, it's, it's not very noticeable. Now, Canva did its best to match up the text in here, but I can go in and select any type of text that I want. I can probably even maybe myself find something closer to that font by just scrolling here and checking. Obviously, I can make it bigger or smaller, move text around, that sort of thing. The other thing down here, you'll notice that it also changed this text. So I can go in and change this subscribe text as well. I can edit this however I want. So I can say, welcome back to Ed Tech Hustle. There we go. Now you'll notice sometimes it will do things like remove, there was a little bell icon at the bottom here and must have thought that that was text and removed it. So it will do things like that. So it's not 100% perfect, but hopefully it will do what you want it to. So now I'm gonna to go to my next thumbnail. This actually comes from the Buffalo Bills YouTube channel. And this is perfect because if this is the type of image that you want to change where you exactly, you know that font right, right there, like I know that's, that's League Spartan, you can use this and completely change just the text at the top of the screen really easily without doing a whole lot of work. Okay, there we go. The text has been grabbed, it's edited, I can move it around, but that's just not the right font. But luckily, just from using this font, I know that it's League Spartan. There we go, it's the same exact font that's on there. Okay, I can just change it like that, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And I have the same exact font that was on that original photo, I just was able to use this tool to remove the text and to edit it. Same thing here, here's just an article from The Verge. If I select that, that snip and if I used grab text, Canva is going to take all of the text on here and make it completely editable. So if someone gives you a, a screenshot of an article or a document that you can't edit, Here's one way that you can do this. Again, you're gonna have to probably go in and, and change the font. Even even Google got a, got um, grabbed, I guess, kind of here. Um, so in some cases, it may not be the best option, but it is something that will work. Here's another one. This actually comes from Adobe Express. If we use our grab text, it's going to identify that text, allow me to change it. So this is a tool that I think will save you a lot of time. Like I said, it's not completely completely perfect, but I think in some situations where you have an image with text on it and you don't have the original to easily change, this might be an option. So it is called Grab Text. It's one of the AI tools that's available in Canva. If you don't see these AI tools in your Canva account, don't worry. I have a feeling you soon will after the Canva Magic event on October 4th. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment area below.